Are dashboards just a crutch? That's the question we're digging into today, and it's one of those topics that stirs up mixed feelings in the world of business, tech, and analytics. Dashboards are everywhere these days. You know, those glossy, colorful displays of charts, graphs, and metrics we all have to deal with on a daily basis. They're in our businesses, on our phones, even in our personal fitness apps. The idea behind them seems pretty straightforward. Take a bunch of data and make it visually digestible so people can make better, faster decisions. That sounds great, right? But here's the thing. Are they actually as useful as we think they are, or have they become just a crutch we lean on because, well, everyone else is doing it. Let's get into it. When dashboards first came onto the scene, they were like the new shiny toy in the analytics world. Before dashboards, getting meaningful insights from data was clunky, manual, and took forever. You had to rely on data analysts or IT teams to pull reports. And by the time you got your hands on anything, the data was often already stale. Dashboards promised to solve all that. Real-time access to the numbers you need right when you need them. The logic was simple. Slap your data onto a screen and voila. Decision-making at your fingertips. What could go wrong? Well, it turns out a few things. The first issue is this assumption that just having access to data means you're going to make better decisions. Sure, dashboards can give you a snapshot of what's happening, but data without context can be misleading. You look at a graph and you see a dip in sales last week. Panic sets in. But do you know why it happened? Was it a seasonal dip, a supply chain hiccup? Or did a competitor launch a promotion that you didn't catch? Without digging into the why behind the numbers, a dashboard can give you a false sense of urgency or confidence. It's like driving with just your rearview mirror. You see what's behind you, but you're not really seeing the full picture. And yet, because dashboards are so easily accessible, we can get trapped into making snap judgments without doing the deeper analysis. Another thing we have to talk about is dashboard overload. The average worker is now bombarded with more metrics than ever before, and honestly, it's overwhelming. There's this phenomenon called data fatigue, and it's real. Imagine logging into a dashboard with 50 different metrics. Sure, you can filter, you can sort, but still, it's a lot. At first, you're like, wow, look at all this data, so much power. But then it's like standing in front of a buffet with a hundred dishes. You can't possibly eat everything. And more often than not, you just end up grabbing the same safe, familiar options. That's exactly what happens with dashboards. People tend to focus on the same few metrics, the ones they already know, and ignore the rest. So even though we have access to more data than ever before, we're not necessarily making better decisions because of it. That brings us to another problem, overconfidence. There's a certain sense of comfort that comes with dashboards. It's easy to think, hey, I'm looking at the data, I'm being data driven. But just looking at data doesn't mean you're actually understanding it. You might know what a trend line looks like, but if you don't know what's driving that trend, are you really in a better position? Dashboards can sometimes create this illusion that you've got everything under control because the data is right there in front of you. But, as they say, a little knowledge is a dangerous thing. If you don't know how to interpret the numbers correctly, you can actually make worse decisions because you think you're being objective and data-driven when, in reality, you might be missing the bigger picture. And let's not forget that dashboards are only as good as the data feeding into them. Garbage in, garbage out, right? If your data isn't clean, or if it's incomplete, your dashboard is basically worthless. But here's the kicker. Most people don't stop to question the quality of the data they're looking at. If it's on a dashboard, there's this unspoken assumption that it must be accurate. It's like when you read something on the internet and automatically assume it's true just because it's in print. Dashboards can lull you into a false sense of security. Unless you've got someone actively managing the data pipeline, ensuring the data is timely, accurate and relevant, your shiny dashboard is just a fancy display of misinformation. Now, all of that might sound like I'm totally against dashboards, but that's not the case. Dashboards can be incredibly useful when done right. 
They can surface important trends and give you quick insights into what's going on in your business. The problem is more about how we use them, or rather how we misuse them. We've turned dashboards into this be-all, end-all tool, when in reality they should just be one piece of the puzzle. Think about how we consume news. If you're smart about it, you don't just rely on one source, right? You might scan the headlines on your favourite news app, but then you'll dig into a few articles to get the full story, maybe check a couple of different outlets for different perspectives. You don't take everything at face value. But when it comes to dashboards, we tend to stop at the surface. We see the numbers, we see the graphs, and we make decisions right then and there. We don't question, we don't dig deeper, and that's where things go wrong. Another thing to consider is that dashboards often promote reactive decision making. You see something off in the data and you immediately want to course correct. Now, don't get me wrong, being able to respond quickly to changes is important, but if all you're doing is reacting to short-term fluctuations, you risk missing out on the bigger, more strategic picture. There's a reason why seasoned business leaders emphasize long-term vision because chasing every dip and spike can lead to a lot of unnecessary knee-jerk decisions. You end up with what I call dashboard firefighting, running from one problem to the next, constantly putting out small fires, but never really stepping back to see if there's a bigger issue at play. So are dashboards just a crutch? In a lot of cases, yeah, they can be. They've become this easy to reach for tool that makes us feel like we're in control, but often at the cost of deeper thinking. We lean on them because they're convenient, because everyone else is using them, and because they give us this sense of security. But here's the thing. Dashboards should never replace human judgment. They should augment it. The best decisions come from a mix of data, context, and intuition. And that's where we often fall short with dashboards. They give us the data, but they don't give us the context or the why. If you've ever been in a meeting where someone pulls up a dashboard to explain a decision, you've probably noticed something interesting. The dashboard often becomes the authority in the room. If the data says something, then it must be true, right? It's like we've outsourced our critical thinking to these tools. But the reality is the data can say whatever we want it to say. Depending on how you slice it, you can make a dashboard tell a completely different story. You can filter out certain variables, zoom in on specific timeframes, or present the data in a way that supports your narrative. So, while dashboards are marketed as these objective, neutral tools, they can easily be manipulated to serve whatever agenda is at hand. And don't even get me started on customization. Modern dashboards allow for endless customization options. Choose your own metrics, arrange them however you want, build your own reports. In theory, that's a good thing. You can tailor the dashboard to fit your specific needs. But in practice, what happens is that people start building dashboards that confirm their biases. They focus on the metrics that make them look good or reinforce the narrative they already believe in. You've heard of confirmation bias, right? Dashboards can be a breeding ground for it. Instead of using data to challenge our assumptions, we often end up using it to back them up. So what's the solution? Do we throw dashboards out the window and go back to the old ways of crunching numbers by hand? Not at all. Dashboards have their place. They can provide incredible value when they're used correctly. But we need to shift how we think about them. First off, we need to stop seeing them as the final answer. They should be the starting point for deeper analysis, not the endpoint. If you see something concerning on a dashboard, don't just react, ask questions. What's causing this trend? Are there external factors at play? Should we wait and see if this is just a short term blip before making a decision? We also need to be more mindful of the data quality feeding into these dashboards. Just because something is easy to visualize doesn't mean it's accurate. It's crucial to have data governance processes in place, clean data, timely data, relevant data, and we need to stop treating dashboards as this static thing that we set and forget. Businesses change, markets evolve, and so should our dashboards. They need to be regularly updated, not just with new data, but with new metrics that reflect what's important now, not what was important last year. Finally, we need to put dashboards in their proper context. They're a tool, not a crutch. 
They should inform our decisions, but they should never make them for us. The best leaders know how to balance data with human insight. They use dashboards to guide their thinking, but they don't rely on them entirely. There's a reason why gut instinct and experience are still valued in business. Data is only one part of the equation. We need to bring critical thinking, context, and a long-term perspective into the mix if we want to make the best decisions. So, are dashboards just a crutch? Sometimes, yes, but they don't have to be. When used wisely, they can be an incredibly powerful tool for driving informed decision making. But the key is to remember that they're just that, a tool. We can't let them replace our ability to think critically and strategically. The best insights come when we combine data with human judgment, not when we outsource our decisions to a dashboard. Let's not forget that.